shambles. Absolute shambles. So yeah, went to the doctor. I said, is it bowel cancer? She said, no. I went, right. And then she said, when you get a sore throat, do you think that's throat cancer? Right? I think she thought I'd laugh. I went, yes. And she went, okay, we, okay. You can leave now. <laughs> that's what I want a doctor. I want a doctor to make me feel stupid because I went along. Do you know what I mean? I want to go along. I don't want them, I don't want to ever, I don't ever want a doctor to say to me, well, you were right to come in because, whew. so anyway, so last night I went to bed, I went to stand, oh, I feel a bit, I don't feel very well, right? She went, what's the matter? I said, oh, no, I just feel ill, sort of upset, stomach. And I went, it's, it's coronavirus. She went, right. I said, I, said, I feel hot. So she went and got a thermometer. She got out of bed, right? Got a thermometer, tested me. She went, well, no, it's, if anything, it's, it's, per it's low, if anything. It's like, I went, right. I said, I just feel a bit hot. I said, uh, uh, uh. I said I've got a blocked up nose. She went, well, that's not, that's not coronavirus. I went, right. All right, all right, doctor. Right? And I, and, uh, I went, oh, I feel... So sort of that breath, it was really, really nervous. You're winding yourself up, right? <laughs> and uh, I went, oh, I, 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 I sort of sore throat. So we've always got a sore throat because you don't drink enough but liquid and you're always dehydrated. And I went, all right, anyway, I don't feel... So I, I took a nighttime Beecham's, right? right? And uh, went to sleep. That must have mixed with the alcohol because I woke up screaming um, from a nightmare at about three o'clock, <laughs> scared Jack to death, because I, <laughs> I thought an earplug was a spider. <laughs> and uh, so I woke up this morning, she went, how do you feel? I went, yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah. My life often is, I have those incidents now and again, and I always remember, a line in um, Christmas Carol when they go, um, and Tiny Tim, who did not die, and I say that when I get up, I go, who did not die? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah. So, nothing, so business as usual, really. I'm not a brave man. I always think the worst. So then, when it's not the worst, I'm happy. I think it was what a, what a lovely, what a lovely day. I didn't, I didn't die last night. What a lovely day. Oh, fucking hell. What would I have been like in the war? What would I have been like? I was, I was worried during the Falklands crisis that I was, they <laughs> do conscription. I remember, I must have been, what was I, 20, Falklands, and I was thinking, oh, fucking hell, I, what if they call me up? <laughs> uh, so yeah, life's all right, isn't it? Um, Jane laughed at me, because I, um, I found a bow and arrow, uh, just a sports one, not a not a illegal one, a sports one. But you know, if people, if marauders come for the toilet rolls, they don't know it's got a little blunt thing on the end. Um, what else? Any questions? Uh, Falklands War was 1982, yeah. So was I. I was 21. 21. Per I mean, perfect age for conscription. If they hadn't sent 40 people. 
<laughs> I'd be I'd be very low on the list, wouldn't I? I mean, that would be a big war, and we would have to be losing badly for the government to go right. Get Gervais in. We didn't want to have to do this, but get him in. I'd try everything. I'd try flat. I have got flat feet. I have got flat feet. I don't know what the de medical definition is, but Jane can hear me coming. If I haven't got shoes on and I get out of the bed or the bus, she can hear me coming. It sounds like fucking Pingu. Um, and my footprint, it's like someone's dropped a bit of cod on the floor. There's no like, that lovely arch you get, like when you see how Australopithecus walked across wet sands, right, the fossil. It hasn't got that shape, it's just that. My foot. So, I'd try that. I'd try flat feet. Um, uh, my eyesight's, well, it, that I wouldn't be, they wouldn't be asking me at my age, would they? <laughs> but you know what I mean? I'd try everything. I'd, I'd try and get the, everything wrong. Um, what else gets you out? Uh, mental. See, if, they, if I just spoke to them like this for 10 minutes, they would go, yeah, you're mental. <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need to see your fucking feet. You've bored us to death. You're a baby, you're no good. Um, I probably wouldn't do conscientious objector because what they used to do with them is they used to go, okay, you don't have to kill anyone, but you've got to run around with this stretcher. They were the first to go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about <laughs> the war. <laughs> All I had to do was go for, I, was, I did the one run. I don't go for two runs anyway. <laughs> um, I think I, when I woke up screaming I think I shouted ah spider <laughs> <laughs> this is like one floor of the cuckoo's nest are there any psychiatrists watching I've never been to a psychiatrist or a therapist maybe I should maybe I should just film it Maybe I'd say, I'd be scared. I'd worry that I'd say things for a laugh that I couldn't take back. Like I'd say something to wind them up and then they'd call, they'd call the authorities and go, you've met a proper psychopath. It's, you've, got to, you've got to put him away before he hurts people. Because I can't resist it. I can't resist. If I, if I knew what would worry a psychiatrist, I'd say it for a laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Is this interesting? Sorry about your cat, thank you. Cheers. Um, yeah, any psychiatrists? That's asking for it, isn't it? <laughs> um, upbeat war talk, yeah. Diversion. Fighting a virus war, good point. Good, good point. Um, Ricky, you look fat. Fat, yeah. There's a reason for that. I am fat. Who's laughing now? Um, I do, wouldn't it? Do you actually enjoy these? Or, again, have I reached rock bottom? Like, me being, you know, called up for war. Have I reached rock bottom with you lot who are listening? Because you've got, you've got no lives at all. Am I talking to the worst dregs of society? I don't want to insult my crowd. Why did I do this in the first place? Oh, yeah. So keep morale up. But now... It's all right now, isn't it? Everyone's, everyone's getting on with it. I've stopped watching the news. Now there's lockdown. That's what I was waiting for. I don't have to watch the news anymore. Um, just getting on with it. Doing interviews by phone and your Skype. Downloaded Zoom. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm doing them. Um, I'm probably doing more than I would have done. Uh, Got to keep busy writing, writing series three. Might as well. Now's the time to do stuff, isn't it? Might as well. Uh, oh, thanks for all the people that um, uh, donated uh, to those charities again. And uh, last night, was brilliant. Really, really makes a difference. Uh, oh, the RSPCA wanted me to let you know that they're struggling. Um, uh, let, me, let me do a shout out for the RSPCA in Bath. Um, the, you know, the, the, the cats and dogs still need feeding and go for walks. They're still having to operate and uh, it's, it is a real struggle. So uh, follow um, RSPCA Bath. I'll, I'll, um, I'll post a link. Um, it's at Bath. C D H, which is cat and dog home. Um, yeah, uh, and the Mayhew, again, uh, a charity in London, brilliant. And um, yeah, help them out if you can. Uh, stay well. Can you crash our next meeting? Did you shave your head? What? It's not that thin, is it? It's going thin. But no, that's just, that's natural. Makes me look brainy, doesn't it? I've got all that forehead now. I could advertise on that, couldn't I? Afterlife. 24th of April, Afterlife 2. Um, anyway, cheers. Make the most of it. Uh, keep your pecker up. Well, um, careless talk what is it cost lives walls have ears um look careful careful there's a nazi uh turn that light out um dig for victory Uh, don't be a knobhead. See you later.